Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. So we're preparing to, we're still preparing to install mine, okay? If installed, uninstall Network Manager and Network Manager GNOME. Clean any dynamic IP entries out of, etc. hosts. So before I do, again, I'm going to do sudo apt get, and I'm going to do remove, and I'm going to say um, network dash manager, and I'm going to also do network dash manager dash uh, genome. Some people say gnome, some people say genome, gnip, gnip, who knows. Um, and I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go pull that out. You know, yes, a useful thing for a portable device, but not useful, and matter of fact, a problem for a server with the static IP address. So let's just get rid of it and dump that dead weight. All right, so we did, and we should be all set. And again, remember, take a gander at or a peek at your host file and make sure it's clean. And you know, once you clean it up, if you want to install Network Manager, you won't have the, those problems anymore. Now we're all ready to install the bind DNS service. And again, that's just going to be sudo apt-get and install. And it's bind9. It's the DNS service. I'm going to go out online and I'm going to look for the DNS service. I'm going to say yes. And here we go. Okay. And it looks like everything went in uh, and bind has now been installed. And with bind installed, um, I'm going to go into the configuration folder, which is an etc bind. Again, I'll print the working directory, etc bind. And here are all of our configuration files. And we'll just need to edit a few of these, and we'll also have to create uh, two files. One for a forward and one for a reverse lookup zone. The very first one I'm going to do uh, is name.conf.options. So I'm going to do sudo nano named.conf.options. And what I want to do is set up forwarders. What are forwarders? Well, I'm going to set up a DNS server that's authoritative for my domain. However, what happens when I want to find a server or a machine or a domain outside of my domain, such as Google or Yahoo or Microsoft.com, somebody out there? Um, for those situations, if my server can't return or resolve the host to IP address query, then it needs to have the address of forwarders it can send the request to. Um, and then in that case, they will receive it. And if they don't know where it is, they may pass it on to my, the DNS servers of my ISP. And my ISP may pass it on to DNS servers at the top level of the internet, set up by IANA. But at some point, you know, we want to be able to forward requests for host names that are not on our network. And so I'm going to do that. Um, 109.207.13.1 is actually the address of my gateway, my router, and there's a dynamic DNS, you know, cache-only DNS server built into that, so I can forward it to that and make it onto the internet. I could also use a, a couple of other addresses if I want. Um, my internet service provider's IP address, 65.32.5.11. Notice that I, you know, excuse me, 111. Notice that we always terminate these with a semicolon, and I don't want to get carried away. I wouldn't want to necessarily add add too many in here, but I, I could add more. There's 65.32.5.112, another one of my ISPs. Um, in addition, there's Google. Okay, maybe we are getting carried away here, but just for the purpose of illustration, so much evil has been done just for the purpose of illustration. But um, 888 or 8844. All right, so. Way more than I need, but just to kind of give you an idea, these are just IP addresses of DNS servers that if it's not in my domain, if it's off my network and on another network on the internet somewhere, I need to be able to pass my DNS queries off to those servers so that I can find those host names off of or outside of my domain. I'm going to save this, Control X and Nano, Y for yes, and Enter to save it. And so that we're done with our first file. <laughs> just pulled the comment tags out, added some IP addresses for some you know, to forward uh, some hostname queries. So not much to do there. Now the next file involves a little bit more work. So we're going to do sudo nano and I'm going to do named.conf.local uh, 
This will be my settings. And by default, when you go into the buying folder and open this file, there's nothing in it. It's just comment tags. That's all. What we've got to do is create some zones. And I'm going to add a comment tag here. Um, for the purpose of trying to demystify, hopefully, or, or, or make this a little bit clearer, I'm just going to add some comments. Now, you don't have to add these comments. Remember, a comment tag just tells you know your Linux Ubuntu server to ignore the things you're putting in it. But I'm going to go ahead and put this, the pound symbol there. And this is going to be for a forward uh, lookup zone. And remember that a forward lookup zone holds uh, A records and it maps uh, host names uh, to IPs. We'll just call it what it is. Then down here later, I'm going to do a reverse lookup zone. Reverse lookup zone. And it's just the opposite. And it holds something called pointer records or PTR records. And it maps, in this case, an IP address to a host name. All right. So just added two comment tags. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is set up my forward lookup zone. And now this part is case sensitive and picky, so you want to do it exactly like I do it. Zone, and then I'm going to have an open and closing brace terminated with a semicolon, kind of like a, you know, a block of code in Java or a class specification uh, in C++. And then the zone name is going to be in between double quotes. So I just added the empty skeleton in here of what my zone data that I'm going to set up. But make sure yours looks like this. Now my domain name. Um, I'm going to go with something really dork-tacular because that's just who I am and that's how I roll. So it's going to be uh, Ultimate Battle. Make it look pretty there. Uh, UltimateBattlestars.com. Yeah. And then with that set up as my, that'll be my domain, the name of my domain, I need to specify just really two things here. Could specify more, but the type is going to be master. Master because remember that you can have primary and secondary zones, but you can only have one read-write zone. The rest are read-only. Well, this is the first bind DNS server we set up, so we have no choice. It has to be read-write. So I'm going to make that master. I'm going to specify the file, and the syntax for that is just again all lowercase the keyword file. And it's going to go inside double quotes, and of course everything will end with a semicolon, at least in this file. So I want to give it the absolute path. ETC um, and bind where all my DNS configuration files are. And I'm going to create a subdirectory called zones. Haven't done it yet, but I will. And that's where I'm going to put it. All right, so I'm going to do ultimate battle stars.com. And then don't have to, you could call it banana if you wanted to, but it's tradition, tradition to, to post fix it with DB for a database. All right, so. That has been set up as, as my forward lookup zone. Now later we'll have to go on and make the database and we'll have to match this file name exactly. Next I want to do my reverse lookup zone and this is where it might get a little interesting. If this is Superman up here, then this is Bizarro Superman. Just think of it as the inverse or the opposite of what you did up here. So forward, reverse. So in other words, if my server IP address is 199.207.13.100, I want to invert or flip these first two octets to come up with the, you know, the, the zone name. Um, and this is going to be the same on any system. So in this case, again, kind of like the syntax was up here. Let me kind of scroll up a little bit. See how I had lowercase zone, and I'm going to do the same syntax down here. So zone, my name will be in double quotes. I like to kind of do an empty skeleton and then go back and type stuff in between. But you can do it however you prefer. Just be careful to match the syntax that I'm showing you. So um, it's going to be zero, and that's this third portion here. This, is, this sort of acts like a, the network address, and that's zero. And, and no matter what you're doing, this would be zero dot... We're going to invert or flip this, run it in reverse. So instead of 199.207, it's going to be 207.199. So 207.199. And then it's always going to be IN-ADDR for Internet Address. And then it's going to be .ARPA 
and that's for address and routing parameter area. So just an explanation of the acronym if you were curious and wanted to know. Um, I'm going to do type master and in addition I need to specify the file so I'm going to use file all lowercase the name will go in double quotes remember I have to end it with a semicolon and my file name needs to match this at least by tradition you know you could call a banana if you wanted to but we're going to match this and put it in our zones folder so traditionally we will put rev and dot and zero and dot and then the rest of my name there so 207 dot 199.in-addr for internet address dot arpa for address and routing parameter area okay and so there we have our configuration file set up and now what's left to do is we need to go in and create these two files our forward lookup zone database file and our reverse lookup zone database file into this file we will place our a records and into this file we will place our pointer records or ptr records and I'm going to hit Control X, Y to save, and enter.